Few entertainers have worked as hard as Whoopi Goldberg has to claim her spot as one of Hollywood's most accomplished stars. With her success, she's been able to purchase luxury real estate all over from her current Jersey home to a farm in Vermont and more. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Not only is Whoopi a comedian and actress, but she's a world famous talk show host and thanks in no small part to her role on The View, she's accumulated quite the net worth for herself around 80 million dollars. Some of you might be shocked to hear that number, but she's making nearly 8 million annually from her salary on The View alone, and these days she's filming a lot of those episodes from the comfort of her own home. You look great. <laughs> Thank you. I, I am great. This is what we call responsible, uh, you know, social distancing. That's live from her mansion in West Orange, New Jersey, an estate that she first bought in 2009 for just under $3 million. Beyond that, Whoopi has lived in some of the nicest homes you can imagine all over the United States, including a Victorian style home in Berkeley, as well as a 745 acre farm in Vermont, even a gorgeous apartment in Manhattan that she would eventually sell for $3 million in 2010. She also used to own an absolutely jaw-dropping mansion in LA specific palisades that we're gonna take a look at in just a little bit. How's it going guys? It's Kara the Vampire Slayer here for you with a brand new house tour, this one exploring the homes both current and prior of Whoopi Goldberg. I've been a huge fan of Whoopi ever since I first saw Karina Karina as a kid and she'll always have that Oscar from Ghost. Today I'm gonna show you some of the nicest places she's lived in over her career. As you know, here we talk about celebrity houses, but have you ever wondered about Conor McGregor's million dollar watches or the outfits your fave singers are rocking in their music videos? We recently started a brand new channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion. Join us and be one of the first to subscribe. You don't want to miss this. That's not even the only watch McGregor picked up during his recent shopping spree. He also bought another timepiece from Jacobs & Co, this time in a more X-rated flavor. Be sure to follow my Instagram and don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe. Now let's get into this video. Let's kick things off with the home that Whoopi most recently sold, her Pacific Palisades estate. This historic mansion was first built in the 1930s for Austrian author Vicky Baum and would later be purchased by English actor David Niven of the Pink Panther fame. In 1993, Whoopi purchased this home and she's owned the property for close to 25 years. Situated on the Amalfi Rim, the 7,000 square foot main house sits on a 28,000 square foot lot and is lined by trees and chalk full of gorgeous landscaping, including an ivy covered facade, which offers a magical sense of privacy in what is well known to be a star-studded neighborhood. Other highlights of the home include the five ensuite bedrooms, seven bathrooms, an in-ground pool, and views that feature the ocean and canyon. A separate guest house is situated over the garage with its one bedroom and bath, helps make the perfect place to host people visiting from all over the world. In 2018, Whoopi would sell this home for almost $9 million. Next up, we have probably the most surprising former home in Whoopi's real estate profile. Profile, an expansive farm estate located in Vermont. Whoopi picked this parcel of land up in 2004 in the rural Green Mountains near the southern Vermont community of Marlboro, which is about four hours north of New York City. All in all, the estate features over 745 acres of land, but it should be noted that 640 of those acres are conserved land, which means they can never be developed. Of the remaining 100 acres, there is 67 acres of pasture land, along with 15 miles of groomed horse and buggy trails, as well as 22 acres worth of sugar bush, which is used in production of Vermont's famous maple syrup. Portions of the farm's main house date back to the 1700s, and the original structure is a simple two-room cabin that has been added onto several times throughout the years. These days, the colonial home features a rather plain but dignified exterior, and now measures around 6,100 square feet, including four bedrooms, as well as three full and two half baths. In 2004, Whoopi undertook a massive renovation of the home where the residence was taken down to its bare bones and then rebuilt with all the up-to-date fixings, while still keeping the original details, like the two-sided fireplace with beehive oven. 
That fireplace is even believed to have been part of the original cabin. The main floor of the home also has wide plank wood floors, rustic wood beams, exposed posts, and floor to ceiling windows. In addition, the farm features an indoor riding area, as well as a heated horse barn and a two story cement barn that can be used as a woodworking shop. Having been born in Manhattan, it only makes sense that Whoopi would have owned a home in the city that never sleeps. Whoopi first moved into this place located in the Soho Cast Iron Historic District around 2007, but she wouldn't stick around all that long before eventually selling it in the fall of 2009 for around $3 million. Located on Wooster Street, this 3,800 square foot loft features two bedrooms and some amazingly high ceilings as well as cast iron columns. Among its other stellar features are chevron painted marble floors, a contemporary chef's kitchen, a family room with oodles of storage, and a master wing with a huge bedroom and ensuite bathroom. Even its walk-in closet is bigger than most of New York City's average and less than fabulous apartments. Perhaps her most unassuming home, Whoopi owned this classic home in Central Berkeley for more than 30 years, buying it in 1985 for only $355,000. This restored 1890 Victorian style home with its New Orleans style front porch and columns was one of Whoopi's last ties to Berkeley where she kickstarted her career. The home is located on McKinley Avenue and is made up of a 1,455 square foot house alongside a two story cottage, which was converted from a barn into a 1,635 square foot second abode and even features its own kitchen and full bathroom. That's like getting two homes for the price of one. Finally, we come to Whoopi's primary residence and the home that she still lives in to this very day, a stately mansion she purchased in 2009 for $2.8 million. This stunning home comes complete with eight bedrooms, six full and two half bathrooms and is situated in the historic and exclusive enclave known as Luland Park in West Orange, New Jersey. Whoopi first moved here after selling her loft in Manhattan and having been born in New York, she initially scoffed at the idea of moving to Jersey, but she eventually eventually found living in an apartment in NYC to be too uncomfortable and wanted to find some place with more space. This Georgian colonial style mansion was built in 1927 by a wealthy mogul who Whoopi describes as a one time chicken king. I know who that brings to mind, but honestly I'm not 100% sure that's who she means. The home features 9,486 square feet of space and can be found behind some heavy duty security gates. After discovering the place and taking one look at the bathroom with its original tiles, Whoopi was so Old. She told New York Magazine, I felt I'm supposed to be here. I just felt it had been built for me. I went in there and thought, oh, okay, this is mine. It looks very sort of standoffish, but then you put your stuff in and it's like, okay, I can be here. As one of those rare talents that has managed to win an Oscar, Grammy, Emmy, Tony, and a Golden Globe, this is a home where Whoopi keeps all her trophies, even if they are stashed away at the very top of the house where she also keeps her collection of rare books. The inner sanctum of her spacious bedroom is furnished with a suite of mahogany furniture, and many of her favorite paintings and photographs adorn the walls. She told New York Magazine, I'm sort of eclectic. The periods kind of clash all over the house, which is great for me. It feels like you can hang out. It's formal, and yet it doesn't give a sh these days, Whoopi spends a lot of her time here visiting with her grandchildren or friends that come by for dinner. In fact, she regularly hosts social gatherings in her gigantic dining room because she's not someone who likes to go out all that much anymore. The total estate is said to boast 23 rooms, including an extravagant kitchen, an outdoor gym, a pool, and an outdoor patio area as well. All right, guys, I think we're gonna bring this house to an end right here. What did you guys think of Whoopi Goldberg's many different homes? Do you have a favorite? If so, which one? Let me know in the comments down below or feel feel free to rate them. I, for one, really like her current Jersey home. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.